Alright guys, um, it's Bones with Error here and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to download the Android SDK. Um, it should look like this program once it's started up, but first off go into your internet browser and then go over to Google and then type in Android SDK. The overall link will be in the description as always, so be sure to check that out and click on it. Once in there, make sure you know uh, which platform you are on. My one is a Windows and I would recommend downloading the zip file instead of the exe file. exe is the application itself but once you download the zip file you have it saved onto your download history so you can access it anytime you want whereas in this one it limits your access. So just click on that and then the download installer would pop up. Uh, the download should take approximately about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the internet speed of your computers and router. Alright, um, once you've done that, um, your raw file should open up. Let me go back, it should look like this. Just click on Android SDK Windows. If that's Windows for you, but it should say Mac if you're a Mac. Um, and it's got an SDK README text, which I don't think you would need since I'm giving you this tutorial. Um, go over to this SDK Manager and then just extract it if you wanted to access it quicker to your desktop or anywhere easy to access or just run it from this file itself. Um, once you run up, you'll be load a, a couple of things would load up, like a loading bar would should appear, and this pro like pop up should pop up. <laughs> funny um, and it's telling you all the things that are needed to be installed I would suggest clicking accept all as this is the one that really works um, this does this is actually the this takes the longest to install for me it took about 20 30 minutes uh, this is because it's got loads of files which are quite high well some of them are quite high for example like 101 and these are like all the Android versions like there's 2.31 and etc etc and all the components needed to the run the Android SDK and then click on install but I have, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it so I'm going to hit cancel and then um, oh, what did I do sorry about this Um guess I'm gonna have to run it again, sorry about this. Um But yeah without doing this because it's gonna all like do all of this, um I'm gonna have to reinstall it again but what 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 you do is um, after you've installed it about 30 minutes later, what you want to do is close that, um, go over to the virtual devices, and then you should you should have nothing here. So what you want to do is wait till this goes away. Whew. All right, I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, this shouldn't be here, but as I installed it before, something's gone wrong, so I had to reinstall it. But anyways, you shouldn't have anything over here when you go into virtual devices. So hit new and name it whatever you want. And once you've installed all the packages, there should be one here that says target, which is available for you to click. But I haven't got it installed, so that's why it's not available for me. But um, you know do is just go into the thing and then go over to the Android uh, version that you want it to be my I'd recommend 3.2 as that's the latest I think um, and then on the SD card this is basically the SD card the virtual phone would have so I put mine as size um, 2 gigabytes that's the size of my SD card so it's capable of storing a lot of photos and all that and keep the skin as built in um, hardware now this you get to add all the properties that your phone would have so click on new and drop go into the drop down men menu and then go on like 
things like accelerometer, audio recording support, audio playback, battery support, camera support. You would need the battery support for the phone to run anyways. But D-pad, GPS, and all those, etc. Touch screen, SD card, and OK. And just hit OK with that. And then once all of these are filled in, you don't have to take this if you want to. You can, but once it's all done, um, this window should be able to be clicked on. So just click Create AVD, which stands for Android Virtual Device. And in a little while time, your device should be created. And it should be under Installed Packages. I mean, Virtual Devices as this. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Um, so yeah, it should be like that. Uh, your virtual device should be there. And once you just click on it, what you want to do is click on start and then your virtual device should open up um, so yeah thanks for watching this short tutorial Wait, is it short well not short okay thanks for watching this medium long tutorial please be sure to subscribe above comment below if you have any technical difficulties and i'll be sure to get back to you Deuce.